Okay, right here is a 1979 Caterpillar 245. The 245 was the largest hydraulic excavator that was offered by Caterpillar throughout the 1970s and 1980s. The excavator was first introduced in 1974, and later on in 1976, a front shovel configuration for the 245 was offered by Caterpillar. Now I'm going to take and show you around the excavator and tell you some technical information about it. The standard bucket capacity for a 245 can range anywhere from 2 to 3 and 3 quarter cubic yards. However, a mass excavator configuration was also offered for this machine. And there were three different stick sizes that were offered by Caterpillar. And they were an 8 and a half foot, 10 and a half foot, or 14 and a half foot sticks. With the longest stick installed, a 245 can achieve a max dig depth of 31 feet 10 inches. Thirty-inch crawler pads were standard for the 245 with optional 24-inch or 36-inch pads. This is a hydrostatic drive system which features oil-cooled disc brakes which are automatically spring applied and hydraulically released. A 245 has a top travel speed of 1.9 miles per hour. Now let's go up inside and check out the operator's cab and I'll show you the control setup. Here you can get a good overview of the cab on the 245. Now the inside of this cab design and control setup is exactly the same as what you'd find on any of these old 200 series excavators from Caterpillar. They were all set up the same way. Out in front here are all your warning lights. You can see the two gauges down below. Over here on off to the side, these switches work various functions on the machine for your preheat and start. Uh, for your windshield wipers, heater, stuff like that. The left hand joystick you see right here is for the stick and swing. The right hand joystick is the boom and bucket. On the floor you see two foot pedals. These are strictly for the machine's travel function. One foot pedal makes the machine travel forward. The other makes the machine travel backward. To steer a 245 that's what this big hand lever you see in the center is for. This is how you steer this machine left or right when you're traveling it. Now inside this compartment, here you can see where all the hydraulic hoses connect up inside the cab to the joysticks. A 245 is a hydraulic over hydraulic control excavator. In this compartment, this is to get in and access the hydraulic system on this machine, which you can see inside there, and in the center, you can see the single swing motor. One common feature with all these 200 series excavators was, you'll notice that the counterweight only takes up the bottom section of the machine instead of the whole back. And this is to allow access into the engine which is what these two compartments are for. This is to get in and service the engine. The 245 was powered by a six-cylinder Caterpillar 3406 turbocharged after-cooled diesel with a power rating of 325 horsepower, which you can see right inside there. In this compartment, you can see the hydraulic pumps and the other side of the engine here to get in and service it and the air cleaner right here. These two compartments that you see off to the side right here are to get in and work on the hydraulic pumps. Right here is the cap for the hydraulic oil tank which holds 106 gallons of oil and in the front right here this cap is to fuel the diesel tank, which holds 158 gallons of fuel.
And overall, the 245 did turn out to be a very popular seller from Caterpillar, with over 4,000 245s built up until 1988, when this machine was upgraded to the newer B model. And then later on in 1990, the 245 was upgraded again to a Series 2 B model. Finally, in 1993, the 245 was replaced by the newly designed 375 model. But there she is, a 1979 Caterpillar 245 hydraulic excavator.